It was October 30th, 2017 and 19-year-old Kaylee Mondotti should have been enjoying her sophomore year of college. Instead, she was lying unconscious in a hospital bed with severe bruises from head to toe. Kaylee's mother and stepfather were awakened at four in the morning with horrifying news that changed their lives forever. Your daughter's been involved in some incident and she's been life flighted to Kyle, Texas. They raced from their home in Houston to the hospital, praying Kaylee was okay. What was it like when you entered that room? What did you see? I saw my daughter's body smashed. Doctor came in and we asked, what's the prognosis? And he said, there is none. He said, she's not coming out of this. I'm telling you right now, I'm sorry. But where did those bruises come from? And how long have they been there? As Kaylee was taken off life support, all suspicions quickly turned to her sometime boyfriend, Mark Howerton. On the night of October 29th, Howerton had rushed an unconscious Kaylee to the hospital in his car after the couple attended a music festival. While medical staff tended to Kaylee, police officers interviewed Howerton, who wasn't charged with a crime, until months later after the autopsy report was released. The medical examiner had ruled that Kaylee had died from blunt force face and head trauma and labeled her death a homicide. In open and shut case, defense attorney John Hunter says not so fast. Mr. Howerton brought the deceased to a hospital, which is something you don't typically see. Murderers don't usually do that. No. In 2019, two years after Kaylee's death, the trial began and both sides had their own theories. Prosecutors say Howerton had a stormy relationship with Kaylee. I think the best way to tell this story is to start where Kaylee Mendotti's life ended, and that's in the car of this defendant. Dr. Susanna Dana, who performed the autopsy, gave her account of the evidence. She had a number of what I call blunt force injuries to her face and her head. But the defense attorney suggested it was the medical staff, not Mark Howerton, who created much of that bruising. So CPR can cause a lot of different injuries, not just simply superficial ones, right? Yes. In this case, a rib was broken, is that correct? I believe so, yes. Dr. William Anderson reviewed the autopsy for the defense and disagreed with the medical examiner's findings, saying Kaylee's bruising was caused in part by resuscitation efforts at the hospital and the organ donation process. Anderson goes one step further, pointing to a thin line in a photo of Kaylee's skull. Starting here, we have this jagged line. It's like I said, it's just like a crack in the eggshell. And that is a skull fracture. A skull fracture which Hunter says could indicate that Kaylee's brain bleed was caused by a fall. She was in a car. She was in a car for portions of that day. Hematomas don't kill people instantaneously. Thank you, doctor. Prosecutors bring the medical examiner back to challenge Dr. Anderson's testimony. Is that a skull fracture? No, it's not. Jurors were unable to reach a verdict and a mistrial was declared. Howerton walked free, but prosecutors wanted to try again. In May 2023, more than five years after Kaylee's death, Mark Howerton went on trial for the second time. 